So here's my favorite saltwater knot for tying on larger flies like this uh, Enrico Puglisi peanut butter type pattern. And I use this for anything 30 pounds to 100 pounds. I tend to find this knot has a lot of control for loop size. It's a center of mass knot, so it has a perfect shape and provides very consistent swimming action. When you have a bad loop knot, uh, a fly and you strip, a fly will kick one odd direction each time. When you tie a center of mass knot, it'll swim straight away, acting much, much more natural. So the way I'm gonna tie this knot, I'm gonna call it a Homer Rhodes loop knot, is I'm gonna go through this loop two times. I'm gonna go once and I'm gonna go twice, okay? And then I'm gonna draw this tight until you can see a figure eight. And you're gonna see this in your, your shock tippet as well. It's very easy to see when you're tying it yourself. I'm gonna thread my hook on here and I'm gonna go back up through this figure eight the same way that I went down through it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through there and I'm gonna go through there and that's all I'm gonna do for the moment. And I'm gonna cinch that, believe it or not, I'm gonna cinch that all the way down to the eye of the hook. Now some of you are saying, but Joe, I thought this was going to be a loop knot, and here you have that all the way down at the eye of the hook. Just stand by. The action's going to happen here in a minute. So I've pulled my tag in tight. I've seated that down. It's out of my way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got these lines laid just like this, and I'm going to seat this loop exactly where I want it. And I'm going to tie one with shock tippet to this fly to show you what this thing looks like with the tippet. I think with 60 pound, you'll be able to see it on the video. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a half hitch. And from my perspective, it's say a number six. It's gonna be backwards number six for you at home viewing this thing. And I'm just, but it, it's just a half hitch is all it is. It's nothing complicated or fancy. I'm gonna install a half hitch right where I want my loop to stop, just right there. That's all I did. It's a very easy knot, you guys. Once you practice this at home, I'm not going any further. I'm not going to show you the rest of the non-tie say this. Practice this at home 20 times while you're sitting on the couch before you go fishing. This is something where if you can't tie it sitting on your couch, you cannot tie it when you're out there in the, in the salt or the boat. Okay? So now that I've set my half hitch back to the knot, I'm just going to pull the main line, and you see how that's cinched right up into a tiny little loop right that like that it is a thing of beauty i have ultimate control of the loop size it's a center of mass meaning it's a perfect shape my fly is going to swim very straight when i'm strip retrieving it i call that a homer Rhodes loop knot now i'm going to do it with uh with the actual shock tippet material okay because i want you to see how this thing works real time so let me open this one up and i'm just going to get a little piece of this right here Okay, so I'm just going to get about a foot, and uh, I usually use saltwater pliers for this. I generally don't use nippers for cutting that heavy stuff, especially that fluorocarbon. Okay, so here's my shock tippet, and I'm going to tie this peanut butter on there. I'm going to be going fishing for trevally, and I need a very good knot, okay? So I'm going to go, and I'm going to take, ignore that floppy end there, pretend that's attached to my line. Uh, I'm going to go through once, and I'm going to go through twice, okay? And I'm going to draw that down. Cameraman's going to get that in focus for me until you see a figure eight. You got a figure eight? Okay, everybody sees the figure eight. I'm done for the moment, okay? I'm going to thread that on there, and here's a tip. When you thread flies on, don't hold it way up here at the top. Drives me nuts seeing people do that. Hold it back here. It's easier to thread on there. Time is precious. Okay, so now that I've got my fly threaded on, I'm gonna follow the main line back up through the knot the same way I came down, okay? Can you see that? I'm following that line through, so it's a natural return up the main line, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that tag and I'm just gonna pull that all the way down to the eye of the hook, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, like I described before, this is not fancy. I'm gonna be putting a half hitch in here. Sorry, my fat fingers are in the way. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do the half hitch and show you what that looks like. So that's the I'm kind of setting that half hitch up right there. 
and you could go through a second time. I don't tend to like going through it twice through that half hitch. I don't think it's a neat and tidy knot. I think the knot gets too big and bulky. So I'm gonna go ahead and cinch that down right there. That's where I want my loop to end. And with this knot, you really do need a set of pliers. I like really good heavy saltwater pliers. They're just easier for me to handle, but I'm just gonna use these hemostats. And I'm gonna pull that to cinch that half inch down at this point. I'm gonna get that knot good and wet so that it's lubricated. Uh, I'm gonna, because this is really heavy line, I'm gonna use this to pull against, and I'm gonna pull that knot and watch this. You're gonna see that knot come and the loop will meet the half hitch. And then I'm gonna pull, 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 pull. And you'll see that knot kind of fold together and lock. Let me trim the tag end off. You could leave about a 32nd of an inch off that tag right there. You don't have to cut it way, way, way short. There's already a lump for the knot there anyways. But what I've got is I've got this tiny little loop just like that. It's very symmetrical. You can see how nice and even that knot is. But that's the Homer Rhodes loop knot or what I call the Homer Rhodes loop knot. Uh, and I tend to find that to be the best knot for heavy saltwater tippet. Uh, that's the knot that I use. Learn it in advance before you get out there on the flats.